Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome to what is potential massive news for Madden 19 franchise. So, guys, as you see in the title, you see that there is a potential new Madden 19 franchise trailer. And I'll get to that in just a second. Now, this video could be seen in a positive light or a negative light, and I'll also get to that in just a second. So, apparently, if you guys did not see it in the Twitterverse today, there was a leaked picture of what the E3 lineup looks like, and EA is a part of the E3 lineup this year. And under Madden 2019 in this leaked E3 lineup post, and first of all, <laughs> you see it's for internal use only, so somebody is probably getting fired. It says do not share this document with anybody who's not an ESA employee, so somebody's getting fired. But under Madden 2019, the first thing you see is it says there's a new franchise mode trailer. That could potentially be massive, and I'll tell you here why in just a second. Now, this is where the negatives could come from that. So behind that or underneath that, the three uh, highlighted things that they're going to be go going over in their E3 press conference is the franchise mode trailer, improved quarterback arm animation, and a new puncher interface. So if the franchise mode trailer isn't completely groundbreaking, this is going to be a fail. Because if, if it's not groundbreaking and their biggest bit of news for the E3 press conference is a new puncher interface and a new quarterback arm animation, that's, that's not good. That is not good for Madden 19 and that's not good for me, not good for you. But I don't feel like EA is going to go into something like this, a massive press conference like E3 and not have some big massive amount of news. The past year, obviously, Longshot, I'm not sure if Longshot got released to E3. I think it got released before E3. I don't know. I'm an idiot. I could be wrong. But that was their big thing last year. So if this is the thing they're highlighting this year, that means we could be seeing some massive, massive improvements to franchise mode. And another reason why I think this could be the case is because Rex Dixon, who was the creative lead for Madden 18 and like the past couple Maddens, who actually, crazy enough, just kind of like, I don't think he got fired, but he left the company and now works for somewhere else. But anyways, that's beside the point. Point being is a couple months ago, he said that he heard from the franchise guys, the guys that play franchise big this year, so he wanted to reward us for Matt in Madden 19, and they are going to reward us for Madden 19. So that hint right there was that there were going to be massive improvements for the franchise mode moving forward in Madden 19, which it should have been, man, because if somebody does a lot of franchise content on the channel, and a lot of my viewers do enjoy playing Madden franchise mode, like, we have not got any massive improvements in the game mode for years. Like, was there, was there even a... a big like improvement this past year I can even think was there like anything new I genuinely can't think of there being anything new in franchise mode this year compared to last year it might be something little but obviously it's nothing huge and I, the last huge thing to be like added into franchise mode is I don't know I, okay so the big thing to be added into franchise mode this year now I just think about it is the real life play thing like where you could actually pick up where like the real NFL was like you'd be able to jump into week five or now you can jump into the, like the post Super Bowl era and start your franchise there that was the big thing which really nobody cared about that much obviously it was nice to be added in but as a game mode from a year to year basis that's not enough to improve a specific game mode but like I said with this being the biggest thing on their E3 lineup I am expecting something huge because of what Rex said in his tweet a couple months ago, and because, dog, if they're the number, the biggest two things to highlight for Madden 19 is an improved arm animation and a new punter interface, dog, we're, this, this is gonna suck. This game's not gonna be good. So I'm hoping and praying, and hopefully I don't get let down. I feel like genuinely it's gonna be something, it's gonna be something good. I don't think it's gonna be anything spectacular, uh, like spectacularly groundbreaking. And I'm trying to think of some things in my head that they could potentially be adding that we've asked for for years, like AKA, like a draft class creator where we can create the own draft class so we actually could play with the prospects coming out of college. That would be huge. But what makes me think that that's not going to be the only thing, like they're not going to make a trailer and just have that in it. Maybe if they're going to have a whole new trailer, because have they actually had a new franchise mode specific trailer in years? I don't think so. I really don't think so. So... If it's going to be a trailer, there's either going to be one massive improvement that's like going to change the mode forever, 
or it's going to be a bunch of big improvements like the aka the uh, the draft class creator added in too so they can highlight that throughout the trailer. Now I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you think actually is going to be added in Madden 19 franchise mode. What do you think this is about? What do you think a new franchise mode trailer is about? Like first of all, this could be fake. I don't think it is. I, it looks pretty legit and I, I just don't think it's fake. But at the same time, you gotta take everything you see on the internet with a grain of salt. Like, why would somebody make this up? Maybe it could be some type of groundbreaking addition that could add to the realism in the game. I mean, obviously, in franchise mode, there's some fun things you can do. Like, a lot of the stuff I do in my series, just to be fun, it's not to be realistic, is the trading feature. But we all can, like, agree that the trading system in Madden 18 franchise is not realistic whatsoever. So maybe they do some type of groundbreaking addition that makes the game, like that part of the game actually stay fun, but also make it more realistic. So I know there's two sides of people, people that like doing stuff like that, that's unrealistic, but it's just fun. There's other sides of people that like hate that because it's really unrealistic. So maybe they can do something to like fit in between the middle of those two like audiences and actually make something that makes everybody happy. I've seen some people saying that they're gonna add some type of like storyline to franchise mode, kind of like how Longshot was, but in franchise. But dude, I can't see that happening. Number one, because Rex just said that they're going to add something new in the franchise a couple months ago. And the whole long shot thing, dude, that took them like four or like three or four years to make. So it's not like they can make some type of huge addition like that into franchise mode in just a matter of months. So if we're being honest, my genuine opinion, what I honestly think is going to happen, it's not going to be anything huge. But I think it's going to be a lot of improvements like the draft class creator into franchise mode because if you see how long it took them to make something so massive like long shot to add into a game took them four or five years they can't make something that big that's going to be added to the next year's game in only a matter of months so that's my realistic expectation probably a lot of little things probably up in the realism some like if we don't have a draft class creator in like franchise i'm gonna be disappointed i'm gonna be extremely disappointed and let down but also like maybe team creation stuff because in franchise mode you can relocate franchises but you can't create your own team maybe they bring in like a creative team feature that used to be in the game mode years and years ago don't know why they took that out but maybe a whole new type of you know aspect to that where you can create your own franchise you can like start into a franchise like the London Monarchs instead of having to play as a team then relocate them create maybe your own stadium create your own logos that kind of stuff that will be an awesome addition I didn't even think about that till like right now so maybe things like that maybe if they did some fun things like that let us expand the NFL to a couple extra teams let us maybe even create stadiums maybe add on to stadiums I don't know I'm just wishful thinking but just genuinely the reason I think there's could be some things like that once again is because man like why with the, dude, there's no way, dog. There's no way a crappy franchise mode trailer, a new new punter interface, and improved quarterback arm animation are gonna be the three things that I highlight at the E3 Expo, like the biggest like gaming like expo in the world. And that's not that's gonna be their three highlights. I don't I don't think so. So unless the franchise mode trailer blows us out of the water, that's gonna be pretty disappointing for all the Madden fans out there. Now. The reason this also could be a negative on top of the fact that if that like if it's not like if that's the biggest things that's going to be added to Madden 19 is a new punter interface and quarterback arm animation what like <laughs> what like wh what else could be improved in the game like if that's two out of the top three things being added in the Madden 19 or being improved for Madden 19 the people that because there is like two like audiences they got to cater to the people that like ultimate team the fantasy type game mode and the people that like the realism franchise type, type stuff so judging by this for the people that play ultimate team and like really like gameplay this could be kind of disappointing I mean, this is probably very freaking disappointing. Or maybe they just don't want to reveal too much just yet. I don't know. But this is about the time in the year we start getting some leaks and in information about Madden 19, the next Madden franchise. And this could potentially be the first one. But, like, normally by now, at least some type of teaser trailer for the next Madden would be out. So hopefully that drops pretty soon. Since this got leaked, maybe they'll start leaking out some other information as well. But I do want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. And let me know what you think this is about. Out. Like, what do you think this franchise mode trailer is going to be? Is it going to be something huge? Is it going to be, like, a letdown? What do you think they're going to add? I don't know. Hopefully it's good because this franchise needs something to, like, bring a huge spark because 
like, if in all honesty, like, it's just dying. <laughs> like, the popularity on the internet, on YouTube, people playing it, it's just dying. So, hopefully, like, I, I, I don't want the franchise to fail. I want it to be incredible. So, I'm hoping for big things, and hopefully, we don't get let down. But that's going to do it, guys, for today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless, and peace.